Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about decision support system in management information system playlist. So let's first understand what is a DSS or a decision support system. So any decision support system is basically an information system that is helping the management in taking the decisions. So it is a management information system that analyzes and processes the input data so that it can produce useful information in a form that is easy to understand by the management and it is visually presentable so that again the understanding is easier and quick decisions and correct decisions can be taken by it. So a decision support system is basically created to help the management or to support the management in the process of decision making for their organization. So any decision support system, what it does is it considers the past data that has been stored in it. It then also considers the current scenarios and various other factors that affect the current scenarios. And based on all these three things, it decides what next steps could be taken by the management. So it just gives you insights and suggestions. It does not make any decision. So this should be very clear that it is not a decision making system rather it is a decision support system okay so it will give some suggestions to the management like the middle level management and the top level management and then it is up to the management to decide and take the final decision so this is the first example of a decision support system that we all use in our daily lives. It is a GPS or any app like the Maps app by the Google that is showing you the options for different routes or the different route options from reaching from a particular point to another point. So from source to destination, you have multiple route options, but it is up to you to decide which route you will prefer, whether you want to avoid highways or tolls then you select a particular route or you want to go by the fastest route that is suggested. So again, a GPS that is used by all of us almost on a daily basis it is a decision support system because it is helping us in making the decision of which route to follow. Okay. Another example of a decision support system is by the uh, ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization and its collaboration with the Department of Agriculture of India. They have come out with a drought monitoring portal and these are different tools that can be used to support the decision of the government officials which areas are prone to drought what cumulative rainfall they have received, which areas need to be focused on. So this is a pictorial representation, an example of how you can easily see a lot of information through graphics and based on this, you can make your decisions. Another aspect of this portal is the DSS tools that it is providing. The earlier one was the dashboard. So here also you can see in the terms or uh, in the form of bar graphs and tape tabular data that in a concise to the point form, you are able to visualize the information. You are easily able to grasp it and you can filter the information based on the requirements. So the decision support system, this drought monitoring portal is giving you suggestions on what was the past data that was for 2021 and 22 as well as for 22-23 and what are the projections for the next year. So these, all this data is being converted into a form that it becomes useful and this information is getting conveyed to the higher authorities which ultimately take decision based on the information that is provided by this portal. Now, another example of a decision support system is the clinical decision support solutions that are prevalent in the market these days. So what they actually do is, this is one example which actually helps the doctors to screen or to filter out or to separate out COVID-19 patients. So be careful here that again, it is helping the doctors. It is not making the decisions of COVID positive, COVID negative on its own. It is just taking some uh, uh, information, some data from the current situation. It is utilizing the data that is stored in it, like the health records of the particular patient that is uh, being screened. And then it is suggest 
suggesting based on the information that it has processed. So this is also supporting the doctors, the frontline workers in making their decisions. It is helping them make their task easier. Another example of a decision support system is uh, of the air quality management system that was previously launched by the IITs in Delhi so that they could monitor and track the PM 2.5 levels in Delhi. That means the air quality of Delhi as and when winter arrives. So as you can see at the bottom of this image, there are different factors like the energy, the waste burning amount, the uh, amount of uh, uh, road dust and the areas in which transport is more or the peripheral industries are more and different factors, how they are affecting different levels of air uh, air pollution within Delhi. So this uh, kind, these kinds of images helps you better understand how different factors are affecting the current situation and what decision needs to be taken so that the situation can be handled by the authorities. So all this visualization is actually helping the organization make decisions in a better way, in a more uh, rigid manner, in the sense that they are more confident when their decisions are sub getting supported by such visuals, by such information. The last example is of, again, Indian Space Research Organization, which has brought up a decision support system for the disaster management scenarios. So in such cases also, as you can read from the underlying text, that it takes inputs from various uh, factors affecting the country like the geography. So if it is a mountainous area, the landslide disasters would be more. It is If it is a beach area, the uh, tsunami and floods would be more, right? So it disseminates relevant information. That means this portal uh, distributes important information in an interactive form. Form. That means a visual form that is more understandable and that could be changed and filtered on the needs of the user. And it is helping the administrators or the authorities to better understand what is the impact. So this is the official side of ISRO that have come up with the example. So uh, I hope you have understood the concept of decision support system with these examples. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, mind your exam.